Well, continuing coverage tonight, it is a paralyzing word nobody ever wants to hear, cancer. In 2015, Maryland Governor Larry Hogan was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma just months into his first term. DC News Now political and government reporter Leonard N. Fleming spoke to Hogan about that harrowing experience. And Leonard, this is, of course, a very serious time for the governor. It certainly was, yet the deadly disease that changes the future of millions wasn't going to stop Larry Hogan. But the newly elected Republican governor was in for the fight of his life. I was, you know, stunned. I didn't know. I, it's like anybody else that gets that. And I, my first thought was, how do I tell my wife and my three daughters? And uh, my dad, who was elderly but was still around. It was Friday, Father's Day weekend, 2015. And it was a thunderbolt of a revelation. Newly elected Governor Larry Hogan had an aggressive form of cancer that he says spread throughout his body. And then I, I said, how am I going to tell the people of Maryland, which I did on Monday at a press conference. Recall that moment in your life and how it hit you, how it impacted you. Did you think about, God, am, am, am I, I, I going to have to resign? It kind of hit me from out of the blue. You know, I came in, we had the riots in Baltimore after 89 days after being governor. And then about 60 days later, I got hit with this personal challenge from out of the blue where I didn't have any idea that I was sick. The stage three diagnosis, which spread to his lymph nodes, put him down but not out. I had uh, 40 or 50 tumors, and uh, the prognosis wasn't that great. He took six months of 24-hour-a-day chemo treatments. His hair thinned out. Still, he flexed his weakening muscles and kept pushing his wife and family by his side. It was uh, rough. You know, I, I used to have a beautiful head of hair. I just kept working like anybody else who goes through that and has to continue to try to do their job. And I had a very supportive and loving family, and uh, I'm a believer in the power of prayer. I had people all over the state and the world praying for me. Hogan weathered the storm and stayed in charge. I actually ran to stay from the hospital bed for, you know, many months. I, I just, I'm, I kept, I was very transparent. I told the people of Maryland. It was a a tremendous personal challenge, but I met so many incredible people that were going through much tougher battles than my own. I met their families that were, you know, supporting them. And it, it, it made me more empathetic and made me understand what people go through and it made me tougher and made me realize the things that are important in life. Hogan's experience with cancer ended with good results. He's been cancer free for more than six years. Last year, the governor announced a new cancer moonshot initiative to build a cancer center in Prince George's County in Baltimore to detect and treat the disease. Tomorrow, we talk to the governor about his influence of his father, the GOP primary, former President Trump and his future reporting from the studio. Leonard and Fleming, DC News Now, back to you.